Alright guys, I'm back with another YouTube video. This is going to be a flea market haul video. Uh, I went to the flea market this morning with my friend. We did, I did really well. I spent like 500 bucks. I've been spending a lot of money on inventory recently, but I'm really trying to grow my business. So I, it, make, it makes sense. Um, but basically, if you didn't see my last video, I went to garage sales and stuff and bought a bunch of stuff as well. And that one I really enjoyed making and I think it turned out really well. So if you want to see something like that, uh, I'll try and put like an iCard up for you to go watch it. But that one's really cool. Anyways, we're going to get right into what we got at the flea market. Um, anyways, we're going to get right into what we got at the flea market. Alright, so some of the small stuff. One of the ladies uh, had these hats, like a vintage Super Bowl hat, uh, Coca-Cola hat, and Ohio State University hat. I paid two bucks a piece for these. Uh, she said she has a bunch of hats she's going to bring next weekend, which hopefully she sticks true to that. I made a cool connection at this flea market as well, which you're going to see in some of the stuff I picked up. Uh, but also with that lady, I made a cool connection. Hopefully she brings more stuff and we'll see what happens. Next up, I got two pairs of boots. Uh, these are like vintage cowboy boots with snake skin on them. Uh, these are in really good condition. I paid 15 bucks for these, uh, which these are, are not branded, but I think they're going to go for at least like 80 to 90. And then these vintage Rodell uh, snake skin or uh, alligator skin actually boots. These ones I paid 15 for as well, same guy. Uh, these are definitely the better of the two. I think these are gonna go for right around 250 bucks. And again, I paid 15, so this was a really good pickup. There was a kid there getting rid of a bunch of his uh, stuff and he had this pair of uh, LeBrons. The only reason I picked them up is because they're in really good condition. You only wanted 10 bucks for them. So um, I'm gonna hit the bottom with a tub of towels thing from Home Depot and hopefully they're gonna look like brand new. Uh, again, I only paid 10 bucks, they had the box. I don't even know what this go for, but I feel like I couldn't go wrong at that price. Then this one guy kind of, tricked me. He didn't trick me. I, it was my fault, but I ended up paying too much for a couple things. Uh, I got this vintage Majestic uh, Cleveland Browns um, thing for 10 bucks, which again is a little more than what I wanted to pay, but I did get it. And then where he tricked me was, again, he didn't trick me. I just didn't really pay attention, but uh, I thought I was paying 10 for this. I think I paid 20, but it's a cool vintage starter uh, Indian jersey. Indians again, uh, like I said, I've been changed to the Guardians, so hopefully the Indian stuff actually goes up, which I think it will. And then, same guy, I got this vintage Lee Sport Indians uh, Chief Wahoo hoodie, new with the tags, again, paid 10 bucks. So, again, this stuff's probably, probably going to go up in value, so uh, I'm going to list it high, see what happens. One guy, again, more Indian stuff. I got this vintage Mirage uh, Cleveland Indians all-star game thing. I paid 12 bucks for this. This is in really good condition. This is a cool one anyway. Uh, I think I'm going to list this pretty high, see what happens. I'm willing to hold this because again, it changed their name. I think their stuff's gonna go up in value. This next thing, uh, I got all of this from one guy. I paid 30 bucks for all of this. He, all this stuff was listed at 55. Uh, this guy's super cool. He always lets me negotiate, so I'm happy with what I got. I got these two hats for two bucks a piece, this Harley Davidson uh, fitted hat, and then this Brooklyn uh, hat. It's not fitted, but it's got the cool patch on the side. I got those for two bucks a piece. And then I got all these jeans for two bucks a piece. These vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans, again, with the flag patch, and then again, Tommy jeans. Those are both pretty cool. And then uh, all these jeans, vintage Levi's, which always do well for me. Vintage Wrangler white jeans, which have never done bad. Again, for five bucks, it's a good deal. And then these vintage Lee uh, jean shorts, which I were hoping were actually jeans that didn't look hard enough. Either way, you should go for, you know, 25, 30 bucks. At a different sale, I picked up this vintage Goodyear hat. I've sold a couple of these for, um, Close to like 40, 50 bucks. I don't know what this one's gonna go for, but uh, again, I think I paid a buck for this. Uh, I'm on, I, in my last garage sale video, I picked up a couple racing jackets. Uh, I sold one of them already for 125 bucks, which was good. Uh, so I picked this one up, it was $15, maybe I paid 12 for it. Uh, Dale Earnhardt, the Intimidator, uh, Winter Circle jacket, this one's pretty good. I always do pretty well with those NASCAR jackets. And then from that same guy to get that one a little cheaper, I picked up this. Vintage Wrangler one. I think I paid eight or twelve for this to get that one cheaper. So, but they both worked out because I think this will go for good money as well. This vintage Penn State logo athletic hat. Uh, logo athletic hats always do really well for me. I think I paid uh, two bucks for this, maybe a dollar or something like that. Usually people want a lot of money for like Harley stuff. Uh, I think she had twenty on these. I talked her down all the way down to ten. Uh, these are in really good condition. Just Harley boots. Obviously going to sell for good money. And then this was probably like the find of the day. It's this uh, Harley Davidson full on leather jacket with the uh, 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 zippable inside. He wanted 54 and I talked him down to 40. Uh, I got it for a pretty good deal. For some reason it's tagged double like a triple XL but it fits like a medium. Uh, so I want to see what to do with that. But I think I can get 
close to 100, maybe even like 150 for this. So I'm happy with that pickup. A couple store fillers, vintage Cleveland Browns, picked up for a buck. Uh, Polo Raffleranos as well, picked that up for a dollar. This one's super cool. I picked up from a dollar from that same guy. Uh, it's a vintage Speedo tank top, 1996. I love that graphic. Yeah, this is super cool. Uh, I'm gonna list this pretty high because I, when I usually get cool, cool like vintage brand stuff in, I always list it high because I don't really want to sell it basically. That same guy, I got uh, those couple things from, he was hooking it up with the shoes too. I paid two bucks for this pair of Brooks, two bucks for this pair of Brooks, and then two bucks for this pair of Brooks. Brooks, uh, if you don't know, is a great running shoe brand. These are in great condition, just need to be cleaned up a little bit, but these are gonna go for at least 40 bucks a pair. I mean, $2 each, you can't beat that. All right, the rest of this stuff, kind of spent a check on. I spent 180 bucks on, uh, I don't remember how many jerseys, but he has some cool stuff. So basically the story is this guy, owned a uh, jersey store in the mall in the early, eight, late, late 90s. He said he has like a couple hundred jerseys. He's gonna bring a couple of them next week. I'm gonna go again next week specifically to see this guy. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you what some of the stuff I got. So this vintage Majestic Brewers jersey, I paid 25 for this one. These are all brand new with the tags, by the way. Like I said, he had a store. Uh, vintage Rangers Majestic Authentic Diamond Collection. This one's cool, and the best part about that one is that I got two of them. Uh, that one didn't have a name on the back. This one does, Rodriguez. I paid 25 a piece for these two as well. The rest of these I got for 20. I got this Pro Player um, New York Rangers, I believe. Uh, hockey jersey, it's a medium. It's pretty cool. I don't know much about jerseys, but I'm pretty sure I did really well on these. Uh, Toronto, I believe, I'm not even gonna guess. Toronto, basically, baseball jersey. Again, new with the tags, Majestic. These are all made in USA. These are great jerseys. I mean, I'm gonna list these high, but like I said, I paid 20 bucks a piece. Might have paid too much, but what are you gonna do? Vintage Majestic Dodgers. This one doesn't have a tag, but it's definitely new without tags. Uh, never been worn. And then not one Blue Jays vintage Russell jersey, but two of them. And again, they're new with the tags, so you can't beat it. Uh, I like these a lot. They're unfortunately youth XLs, these two are at least. Um, but they might fit like a adult small, adult medium. I do like these a lot. Might keep this one. I like this one. I don't really watch baseball, but I like it. Yeah, anyway, that's everything I got at the flea market. I did really well. I wasn't gonna make a video, but I had to show all the stuff I got because I was really happy. Uh, again, if you wanna watch that last video, I actually was filming out at the garage sale, so I thought that was interesting, intriguing to watch at least. Um, I was willing to do that for that one and I had fun doing it. So I'm gonna continue to try and do those. Again, I wasn't gonna film with this one, but I did. So basically, if you enjoy these type of videos, haul videos, garage sale, flea market, eBay, reselling, all that stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching.